So as we have studied earlier that 85% of the people were dependent on agriculture. That means 85% of the people were dependent on primary sector. But apart from that, India was well known in various manufacturing activities. India produced unique type of handicraft with high quality of materials and that was sold all over the world. But what happened to the industrial sector after Britishers came into India? So as in case of agriculture, so also in manufacturing sector, India could not develop a sound industrial base under colonial rule. So there was no stable agricultural sector and also there was no stable manufacturing sector in India. And why was this happening? Because the Britishers were taking raw materials from India and they were importing that in their own country. So the raw materials was taken from India and it was imported or let's say Britain used to import raw materials from India. So India did not have raw materials for its own use and hence if there are no raw materials in India, manufacturing activities could not take place. Even as countries world famous handicraft industries declined because of less raw materials and apart from that even if the traditional handicraft industry was declining or the existing manufacturing sector was declining there was no corresponding model industrial base that could come up to take the pride of place so long enjoyed by the former. So on the one hand agriculture was suffering, on the other hand the existing manufacturing activities were also declining. But even if the existing manufacturing activities were declining there was no corresponding industrial base which was coming up in India. So in short as a conclusion India had no manufacturing base. India had no manufacturing activities during the British rule and even after independence. So there was no stable or modern industrial base as like of England. There was nothing in India and hence India's economy was declining. So industrial sector suffered equally along with agricultural sector. Now there was something which we called as systematic deindustrialization. Now, what does the word deindustrialization means? Industrialization means forming up new industries or making up new industries, establishing new industries. So what is deindustrialization? Deindustrialization means closing existing industries closing existing industries now why was india doing so india was not doing it it was being done by the britishers so britishers followed the policy of systematic deindustrialization which means britishers wanted that all the industries in india should close down so if there are no industries in india there would not be any goods which would be manufactured. So if India is not manufacturing any goods, all the goods were being imported from England and hence the market was all to the English goods. So systematic deindustrialization is the term that describes the status of industrial sector during British rule. So Britishers followed this policy to close down all the existing industries of India so that they could sell the goods which were produced in Britain. Mm -hmm.